At 11 a.m. I have scheduled a Lamborghini factory tour. Yes! Yes! Good morning everybody, how are you all doing? I have a great, great feeling that with such a great start, it's gonna be a phenomenal day today. Why is that? Let me explain. So, we are on the route to continue this road trip. This uh, exploration of Italy, I guess, it turned into. Um, we have 259 kilometers to our destination, which is Santa Gatta Bolognese. And why are we going there? Woo! I'm glad you asked, because we are visiting Lamborghini factory. I'm going now at 11 a.m. Don't interrupt anymore. So I'm going at 11 a.m. I have scheduled a Lamborghini factory tour. Yes! Yes! Please keep playing. Shut up! Lamborghini factory tour at 11. But I'm planning to arrive before so we can actually go to museum and check that out. After straight away at 12.30 we're going to another special place which is a Ferrari! This day I think is gonna be Awesome! And welcome to Santa Gata Bolognese. In 1.7 kilometers, either on the left or right, I don't know, I should see a Lamborghini factory. Slightly inappropriate though, with the Ferrari backpack, but that's fine, they love each other. And as you can see, I have just entered the Lamborghini Museum. It is pre-packed here with the cars. It is now 20 past 10 in the morning. We have the factory tour at 11, so I should get going to see the whole museum before the factory tour. That is Asterion, which I've seen at Paris Motor Show. I'm not sure the year, but it was pretty cool seeing the revealing and now seeing it here. I would actually really, really, really like if they made something like this. I know there's few people who would hate it, I personally would love it. I mean, just look at that rear. And that would be the ground floor. Now we're going up. Just look at this. Just look at this. Taking shots with all your breath for now. This thing is a space shuttle, a rocket, Batmobile, call it whatever. It looks crazy. Only three Veneno coupes are made and nine Veneno roasters. Very, very limited. I really like this one here. That is the rolling chassis monocoque of the Aventador and why I like it is because I've been googling and looking at uh, the suspension and uh, the different components when I was doing my engineering degree at university. You can clearly see it has the uh, double wishbone obviously push rod type of the suspension. The interesting thing is the whole monocoque, the carbon monocoque over here is one single piece uh, both with the roof and with the top everything is one piece and weighs 147 and a half kilos. That is light. That exhaust is huge, but something that is even bigger is this tire. Just look at that. It's 335 millimeters wide. That is crazy. And over here in this section, it's obviously the tribute to Ayrton Senna. I don't know if I pronounced the name correctly 100%. So this is probably the best spot to show you the whole museum pretty much. So there is downstairs which you've seen already. And then there is upstairs where you have the Veneno, where you have Miura, where you have Aventador Huracan and things like that. And then there is a section of, of Formula where it's tribute to Ayrton Senna and uh, showcasing pretty much his achievements.
The card that struck me the most here is the Veneno, definitely, because it looks like nothing else. I don't even know how it's road legal, it just looks unbelievable. It's time now to head downstairs because the tour starts in three minutes. So the factory tour is about to start. Unfortunately, I had to leave the mobile phone and the camera and everything that can record anything. I can't bring you along with me. Sorry for that. I'll tell you after what happened. So this is what we get. Did I already break it? I already broke the headphone. Good. See you in a bit. That was cool. What are these guys doing here? That's more like something I would expect around here. So, a recap of everything I could possibly remember. Bear with me, I might miss a few bits. So, firstly, how he started the company. So the founder one day apparently drove a Ferrari and got really frustrated because the Ferrari broke a few times and transmission was making some problems. And he went to Enzo Ferrari and said, hey, I have a problem with your car. And then Enzo Ferrari apparently replied, you go and build your tractor as you do until now and I'll make the sports car. You can't drive the sports car properly and that's why it's breaking. And that was apparently the reason why why Ferruccio, the founder of Lamborghini, started producing sports cars. Firstly, Lamborghini Urus will be produced. I don't know what I said, but it will be produced and I'm really glad I totally forgot about that. Lamborghini Centenario, 40 units built, 20 roadsters, 20 coupés. Well, factory is slightly bigger than Aston's and I was really surprised how everything is organized, decorated, designed as an attraction so that actually visitors can come and enjoy some of the displays and you, need, you know, you have the Aventador monocoque again, you have things like that which for example at Aston is completely different, there is nothing like that. I mean I guess Aston is more closed and for invitation bases only, but uh, yeah, a cool feature when we just entered the factory, on the right there was a small patch when there was original floor from 1963. And then we have the Huracan production line on the left, we have 23 stops or stages and each stage takes 37 minutes. They produce roughly 12 cars a day and waiting line is about 6 to 8 months. They produce Huracan and Huracan Performante on that production line only. Then we've entered the section of upholstery and it's very very interesting that 50, 5-0, 50 percent of the customers go through Lamborghini's Ad Personum which is a center for customers customizing all the bits and pieces on your car and making your vehicle as unique as possible. 50% of the Lamborghini customers choose to go through that. That shows the clientele of Lamborghini and how much they really really want to be unique. Obviously some paints and things like that like we've seen on Geneva Motor Show. If you remember that video that I made about that paint which is 40, 50,000 euros, the regular paints are just 15,000 euros. So, you know, just a small bit. Then we've seen leather inspection. An inspection is done purely by eye and touch. I didn't resist. I took one sample, which was already marked where there are mistakes and stuff like that. I couldn't see anything. Like literally, I'm, I'm going like, I'm going that close and I can't see why he marked it. I mean, they're so trained and they, they have such an eye for, for details. It's, it's crazy. Interesting fact, Lamborghini broidery on the headrest cannot be impressed into Alcantara so it has to be stitched. Just an interesting fact. Then we have the Aventador production line. We have 12 stops, each stop takes 82 minutes and they produce five and a half cars a day. Half of the Aventador. Cool. Waiting line, 12 months. All Aventador SVs are sold, 1,100 in total, 600 are coupes, 500 are roadsters. A very interesting stage which we've seen as we were walking past the production line is the wedding stage. Wedding stage is where the chassis and the engine come together and marry each other. The interesting thing is you have the chassis and then the drivetrain which is 430 kilograms in total and then the whole drivetrain engine and then the transmission has to go like a shoe inside the car because that's the only angle how it can go into the chassis. I bet it really has to be carefully done. 
And then we've seen the Centenario on the Aventador's line, which was very interesting. So at that stage where Centenario was located, the Aventador behind and the Aventador in the front had all the body panels already on, whereas the Centenario was almost naked. Why? Because Centenario's bodywork is completely made out of carbon fiber and they will add the carbon fiber bits later not at this stage. And then there was point of scissor doors. So why does Hurricane have normal doors and why does Aventador have scissor doors? The reason is just tradition. So all the way back to Countach there were scissor doors which they made uh, with an excuse that doors can hit the sidewalk or anything that is a little bit higher and since then all V12s made in Lamborghini have scissor doors, all others have normal doors. Also interesting fact is that every car that leaves the factory goes for 50 kilometers of test outside the factory around the Sant'Agato Bolognese meaning that that's the opportunity when you should be there and spot those new cars the main markets are USA Asia and Arabia in Europe the main markets are Germany UK and Switzerland and that concludes oops just a random hurricane spider and that concludes my visit to Lamborghini factory. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Bye!